scientists that are facing insults in mass spam are abandoning Twitter for alternative social networks. This comes as hostile climate change denialism surges on the platform following Elon Musk's takeover. Researchers have documented an explosion of hate and misinformation on Twitter since the Tesla billionaire took over in October 2022. Now, experts say communicating about climate science on the social network, on which many of them rely, that's getting harder. Policies aimed at curbing the deadly effects of climate change, they're accelerating, prompting a rise in what experts identified as organized resistance by opponents of climate reform. A climate and water specialist with nearly 99,000 followers announced that he will no longer post on the platform because it was amplifying racism and sexism. The specialist further added that he's accustomed to offensive personal attacks, including direct physical threats. Further, a physicist and lead scientist at Berkeley Earth analyzed activity on hundreds of accounts of widely followed specialists who posted about climate science before and after mass takeover. He found climate scientists' tweets were losing effect. The average number of likes they received was down to 38%. And average retweets fell at least 40%. Even though Twitter has not commented, it's not commented directly on what changes it has made to the algorithm in a tweet seen as an acknowledgement of deliberate change, Musk wrote in January that people on the right should see more left-wing stuff and people on the left should see more right-wing stuff. In April, over 400 international climate scientists published by a campaign group, a global witness found that prominent scientists were the most likely to face abuse. With half of those who had published at least 10 papers reported that they had suffered online harassment as a result of their climate work. Also, according to statistics, one in eight female scientists who reported abuse had also been threatened with sexual violence. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.